evaluate the given limit using trigonometric functions. To solve this problem, let's recap that cos 2x is equal to 1 minus 2 sin square x. And we're going to use this to replace cos 2x. This is step number one. Step number two, we are going to open up this bracket. Next, step three. One, we take away minus one. Next, let's look for a trigonometric function that will help us replace this in order to deal with the denominator. Let's recap that from trigonometric function, sine square x plus cos square x is equal to 1. Let's make sine square x the subject by taking cos square x across the equal sign. Next, let's recap that 1 squared is the same thing as 1. Hence, instead of just this one, I can put a squared on top of this one. Likewise, from difference of 2 squared, a squared minus b squared is the same thing as a minus b and a plus b in brackets. Hence, I can replace this with this. We have just represented sine square x using difference of two squares from this basic formula. Hence, wherever we see sine square x, we are going to replace it with this. Hence, in the limit function, we are going to replace sine square x. Next, instead of this, we now have this as a replacement. Next, we are going to modify this to look like this. Next, everything here and everything here still remain the same. Likewise, the denominator still remain the same. This minus multiply by 1 will give you minus 1. Likewise, this minus multiply minus will give you plus cos x. Next, this will take away this. Likewise, the minus will take away the minus. Next, taking the limit of this function, substituting for 0, our answer is 4. Why do we need to go through all this process, which would have been easier for us to differentiate and just get the answer directly? However, the question asks us to evaluate using trigonometric functions. Let's assume the exam question was given like this. By direct substitution in step 1, we would have gotten 0 over 0. And in step 2, we apply L'Hopital rule. Next, we take the limit of the differentiated value and we obtained 0 over 0 again. Step 3, we are going to differentiate each of these variables separately. By taking the limit of this function, substituting carefully, your answer is 4, which is same as we obtained earlier. You can check out for other videos. in precalculus to locate all these videos follow the link on the screen i will see you in the next video